Hey Ocean Advocates, welcome back to the Ocean Observer. Today, we dive into a concerning development that's making waves in the world of marine conservation. The pristine waters of Te Ahupo'o in Tahiti, a renowned surf spot, are under threat due to the construction of a judging tower for the Paris 2024 Olympic surfing event. Picture this, a construction barge ploughing into the turquoise waters, damaging a delicate coral reef near Te Ahupo'o. Local and global outrage has erupted as the world learns about the collateral damage caused by the construction of the new judging tower. An Instagram video posted by Save Te Ahupo'o Reef paints a vivid picture of broken coral and a damaged propeller, igniting protest from surfers, activists and locals alike. Over 200,000 signatures on a petition on change.org reflects the widespread outrage. Local residents, environmental organisations and even famous surfers like Kelly Slater and Carissa Moore have been fighting the construction plans since October 2023. Even the International Surfing Association has spoken out against the aluminium tower, saying that it will not support its construction. The opposition is proposing alternatives, such as using the existing wooden tower or constructing a new one on original foundations. However, the community argues that any drilling in the reef is unacceptable. The proposed smaller tower still involves drilling 133 holes in the reef, each reaching a depth of 2 metres. Coral reefs are delicate ecosystems, and any disturbances caused by drilling can lead to irreversible damage. Te Hupa'o isn't just a surf haven, it's a coastal community with protected natural heritage areas. The proposed construction threatens numerous coral reefs, vital for marine species and acting as a protective barrier for the shoreline. While Paris 2024 organisers claim they will minimise the impact, Environmentalists like Aimatari Ilevi argue that any drilling into the reef is inherently wrong. Despite the protests and environmental concerns, Paris 2024 Games President Tony Estonge remains resolute, confirming that the tower construction will proceed. The clock is ticking, with the tower expected to be completed by May 13th, just in time for the World Surf League Championship Tour's Shiseido Tahiti Pro. As the battle between development and conservation continues, the fate of Te Ahupo'o hangs in the balance. What are your thoughts on this issue? Share your ideas in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop on all things marine conservation. Until next time, Ocean Advocates.